Hello, future Patriots. We are so excited that you will be joining us here at Goose Creek Memorial. My name is Evelyn Mexis, Mrs. Mexis. I am a counselor for students with last names M-O through R-Y. And I am Mrs. Ambrose. I service students with last names C-O-M through H-A. We are very excited for you to listen to our presentation today. You will hear a lot of information. So if you guys have any questions, you guys can always talk to your eighth grade counselor or reach out to Ms. Kayla Tompkins here at Goose Creek Memorial High School. We're so excited for you guys to be Patriots next year. See you soon. All right, students, the first thing we're gonna talk about are all the different options you have at the high school level. In high school, you're gonna have so many opportunities to choose from and lots of different paths that you can take. Now we're gonna look at mapping out your future. You and your parents are responsible for selecting your endorsement, as well as the courses that you're gonna take in ninth grade. We also want you to consider your four-year graduation plan, any special programs, and schools of your choice. Your junior high counselors are available to assist you with questions about your plans. Now let's take a look at endorsements. You guys probably have been reviewing this at your junior high, so we're just gonna quickly recap. You have five endorsements to choose from. These are gonna kind of steer your high school schedule, the different electives you're gonna take, and things that you're gonna study. So you have five different options, arts and humanities, business and industry, multidisciplinary, public services, and STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and math. Now we're gonna briefly go over the different career academies that are available at the high school level. Career academies are small learning communities with a career theme. All eighth grade students can apply to any of the Goose Creek Career Academies, regardless of which high school you are zoned to. More information about academies and the deadlines will be coming to your junior highs. So the different academies are the Global Business Academy at GCM, the Health Science Academy at Sterling, the STEM Academy at Lee, and the Teaching Academy at Sterling. You also have the option to apply to go to two of our specialty high schools in the district. So we have Impact Early College High School, as well as Stewart Career Tech High School. Again, more information about these academies and specialty high schools will be coming soon. As you can see, in high school, you have so many opportunities to choose from and lots of things to consider. All right, students, so now talking about our graduation plans, all of our students are on the distinguished level of achievement. That means that you would need four credits in English, four credits in math, four credits in science, three credits in social studies, half a credit of health, two credits of a foreign language, one credit of fine art, one credit of tech application, one credit of P or the equivalent, in case that you are in a sport, and five credits of electives. It's very important that we all have at least one endorsement to equal 26 credits. In order to earn the Distinguished Level of Achievement, you must take Algebra 2 as one of your math credits. Decisions to make about high school. AVID, Advancement via Individual Determination, CTE Academies, whether you are interested in applying for Impact Early College High School or Stewart Career Technical High School, 
What endorsements are you interested in? What core courses you want to take? And what electives are you interested in? So this is what you all have been waiting for, selecting your classes for ninth grade, the actual freshman course selection process. Let's talk about all the opportunities to choose from. There are several paths. Don't forget that you are to determine if you are interested in those programs that we talked about. AVID, CTE Academies, Impact Early College High School, or Sewer Career Technical High School. You must select your endorsement. Select ninth grade courses and complete your four-year graduation plan. Courses for 9th through 12th grade will be selected during this semester. Now remember that your counselors will always be available to assist you with questions about your plans. The course registration process. To help you with your 9th grade course registration, you will use the following. The high school course description guide, which you can find on the Goose Creek website. You will also have access to the course registration sheet and endorsement quick reference guide. You will be able to have a link to this on the sheet below. Now speaking about the sheet below on the image, that is your high school course selection questionnaire form. You will find that this sheet helps you and your parents follow the Google form that you will use to select your classes for ninth grade. This slide here shows us your ninth grade course selection Google form. The Google form here is going to lead you to all of the classes that we have available for your specific grade level. What I will show you on the next slide how you will be able to access this Google form with the help of your parents. You must be signed in to your Google account in order to submit your form. And you must only submit your form once so please make sure that you utilize the questionnaire page as prep work before you actually submit it in the Google form. This flyer here is very important. This is how you will access the Google form. Looking here, you have a tiny URL and your QR code. Those are the two ways that you can access the Google form to select your classes for next school year. You will receive this from your counselor, your eighth grade counselor. The course selection questionnaire form will ask you some personal information, and this is how you will also be able to fill out your core content courses. For English, you will have the option to select English 1 or English 1 Honors. For Math, you will be able to select Algebra 1 or Algebra 1 Honors. But if you are currently in Algebra 1, you will automatically be enrolled in Geometry Honors, and that will be the, the class that you select. For Science, you will be able to select either Biology or Biology Honors. And lastly, Social Studies, you, would have the op you will have the option to select World Geography or World Geography Honors, World History or World History Honors, or AP Human Geography. On your form, you will also find that you need additional courses required for graduation. Here at Goose Creek Memorial High School, all of our ninth grade students take the class called MAPS, Methods of Academic and Personal Success. This class will help you transition from eighth to ninth grade and provide additional support such as keeping up with your grades and also note-taking skills. You either can take MAPS or ROTC1. You will also need languages other than English, your foreign language. You will need one credit of PE or sports, and you will need to select your endorsement and pathway. Let's talk a little bit about high school course selection expectations. A course can be taken only once for credit. Course selection questionnaires are to be turned into your eighth grade counselor and also must be in your Google form. All of this must be completed by February 12th, 2021. Dropping and adding courses. You cannot drop a course after the fourth week of class. 
except an honors or AP change. You will be academically ineligible for UIL participation if a course is dropped after the fourth week. Honors and advanced courses. You must stay in the course until the end of the first six weeks. To change, parents must conference with the teacher. Academic deans must approve all AP or honors changes. Grades and academic class rank. You will receive credit for courses when you make a 70 or above and attend school at least 90% of the time. If you are in an extracurricular activity, you cannot play if you do not pass. You cannot participate in extracurricular activities in college if you have grades below a 70. If you fail a course, you can make it up in the summer or credit recovery classes. Your grades will impact your rank. Rank is important for scholarships and college admission. Remember, take challenging courses, honors, AP, and or dual credit, and make the best grades you can. You will receive more grade points for doing well in advanced courses. So what's next? We've talked about a lot of programs that we offer here in Goose Creek. You have to determine if you are interested in AVID, CTE Academies, Impact Early College High School, or Sewer Career Technical High School. Remember that you will receive more information from these organizations, including deadlines of when to apply. You are to select an endorsement and your ninth grade classes. You must complete your Google form, and you must get your parent's signature on the questionnaire to return to your eighth grade counselor. It is very important that you follow all these steps. We can't wait to see you here at Goose Creek Memorial High School.